I am delighted uh, to say a word or, or two about someone everyone I hope in this room really knows about Obodalalam, a gifted poet. To me, he is really a gift to us, those of us who read, who read what he writes, listens uh, to the CDs he uh, prepares. He is really a special gift to us, a special gift to our culture and to our people. And Obodalalam, thank you, thank you. Come over here, please. I would like to thank uh, Professor Mohammed and uh, Steve for the moral boost. <laughs> Before they said such, such wonderful words, I was about to run away with my presentation because I was a little shocked. Should I present it or uh, should I just run away? <laughs> now I'm a little confident. I can just proceed. <laughs> uh, I am really possessed with this uh, humor and uh, poem thing. Uh, you might wonder, why humor now? Because we are in such a bad shape. We are suffering, we are being imprisoned, tortured, and then expelled from our own country. Why humor now? While there are other very serious matters to discuss. As far as I am concerned, humor is one of the most serious subjects in the world. I don't even dare to talk about uh, humor, let's say, within the given time limit to me, around 10 minutes. Uh, humor can be seen from uh, anthropological point of view, from literary point of view, from sociological point of view, and from other different subjects. So, discussing about, uh, even introducing about humor within 10 minutes is something like uh, running from uh, here to Olney, uh, swimming in a glue within uh, five minutes, which is around 10 or something kilometer, I think, and uh, that is very difficult. So, I will just try to give you some highlights of humor and then try to proceed to give examples of what kind of humor we almost have. I will start with uh, a poem by Volodymyr Barabash, poet of optimism, they call him. He is a, a Russian by birth, but uh, a Canadian by nationality. Beware of man who cannot laugh with others at his own mistakes. No one is perfect on this earth, each one of us some blunders make. If one cannot laugh at yourself, or take yourself too serious, the folks will shun your company and label you as curious. The world would be in a better shape. If we laughed more and grumbled less, dictators build their strengths upon the people who are humorless. Most anyone can wear a throne. To have good humor is an art. There is no better medicine than laughter coming from the heart. A smiling face we greet with joy and the laughter is come completed smile with gloom we hate to take one step with mirrors we gladly walk a mile the world will always cherish those who to the merriment incline the gods above shall wink and smirk for humor too can be divine that is the word of the author i just mentioned but what is humor? Defining humor in a simple term is quite difficult. Chesterton 
1964 statement that reads, humor not only refuses to be defined, but it's, it's in a sense boasts of being indefinable. And uh, with that, I just go away with uh, other things and then pass to humor theories because I don't think I've got that my time. There are a lot of humor theories, but uh, the most uh, talked about are three. The superiority theory, uh, which actually started, as they say, by uh, Plato. Uh, it is explained that uh, Uh, of all the three humor theories, as Perk L. 9, 2012 explains, incongruity theory is the one that describes the most basic building block of humor and is the oldest and can be traced back to the time of Plato. John Morrill, 2016, describes Plato as the kickstarter of this theory, the superiority theory, I mean as the most influential critic of laughter who treated it as an emotion that overrides rational self-control and hence advised that in the ideal state, comedy should be tightly controlled. Uh, this really gives for dictators what actually they need. Based on this theory, uh, we see that dictators won't, they don't uh, tolerate laughter. They, are, they make actually uh, laws against it. Uh, during Hitler time, I think there were, nobody is allowed to call his dog Adolf. That is punishable by death. The second theory is the relief theory. I have got to go uh, fast, I think. The relief theory is uh, the source of theory is attributed to Lord Shaftesbury, 1711. He says entitled The Freedom of Wit and Humor. He writes that, and thus he says, the natural Free spirits of ingenious men, if imprisoned and controlled, will find out other ways of motion to, re to relieve themselves in their constraints. And whether it is be burlesque, mimicry, or buffonery, they will be glad to, at any rate, to vent themselves and be revenged on their constraints. So, let me give you a few examples here. One of the mediums for or almost to vent their repressed emotions is epigrammatic and humorous proverbs. Here are a few examples for different emotions and occasions. Uh, you might find a few of the proverbs to be uh, sexist or uh, ageism and sexism you find in it. I'm not trying to promote these things. Please <laughs> try to understand me because I'm just presenting as they are and uh, I'm just trying to show we had all these things uh, with all their negative connotations. For instance, when financial contribution is continuously imposed and becomes unbearable for the people, they say, murani, If I try to translate this into English, it means uh, yesterday they circumcised me, today they cut my, they cut my ovula, jeez, I am being whipped out bit by bit, said the girl. When dictation and repression becomes the norm, for instance, <laughs> It means, alas, I know where my ailment is, but cup me where my master says in English, or something equivalent. When tribulation and uh, misfortune piles up, they say, which means the year the porcupine devoured a person, the skunk, the skunk disdainfully looks at one. When someone shows Overconfidence. They say, which means a ship that has a strong master sleeps with her tail outdoors. 
uh, to as a reminder on something strictly personal for instance my god kanjil bauli abatu dikate tegerwitin mila dite gifted actually actually it means uh, the one above the knee the owner washes said the slave after washing her mistress's leg the incongruity theory is uh, it is uh, to just make it short it is a mismatch it's some kind of unexpected thing when it happens it really stimulates laughter that is what incongruity means i'll try to give you what kind of incongruity it is some kind of absurd thing when happen we have got as a child we just used to play something for instance around the fire hearth one child acts as if uh, he's going out hunting and then the other child says no i don't go he becomes a coward so they have got something like this ababo ka gaditi manake borota i guaya ke hufe ka yanile ajje sengale kanina ajje setiyu kurkura gumbi jala dagada ku jalati gemme abidda jalati gamati namata ubrati sret e bab birati bojito masas goden adasa basa gode he is just trying to do that gerarsa which is actually done by real heroes who killed elephants or lions and so on which i might translate like this ababoka the coward sit in your backyard puff on your smoking pipe i killed and came back home and as for what i killed it is the one that toddles beneath the silo the grinding stone under the fire stone trivet yonder in front of people sitting near the leather strapped bed i snatched the rod of steering and cracked it for for head and this actually grows to something different during adulthood it becomes some kind of a base for uh, disdainfully looking down on somebody who is a coward who does not want to go out and then kill i don't have time let me just give you another uh, no proverb again there are a lot of proverbs uh, uh, let me <laughs> Uh, there is another pastoral humor is one kind for instance i will give you example these are in the countryside two boys are playing it shows how uh, we can call it another type of corrective humor that warns rural young men to contemplate seriously about the weird results concerning creating a home for two before jumping into marriage one boy says gufubal bala sifud antala which means stamp in the door i will marry you girl the second boy cheka mana duba dega tuna mafuda that means cheka tree on of the backyard could a destitute be a husband boy reji gamagaba reti la mankaba which means uh, reji tree of the yonder market i own two goats don't forget he says and then that boy answers kusayen kosida bushayen horida which means could kusay be a garbage could goats be heritage so before you decide marrying don't try to be so proud of your two goats or sheep contemplate seriously that is another type of uh, humor in oromo society is what we call scatological humor or restroom humor or potty language actually that is what steve referred to mostly uh, for instance let me give you one example ufu mareta ni ufa ni najau they say literally translated it means the fart farted with consensus does not smell uh, another one is still uh, more funny i think in nijaba hagu is albo fim beku it means uh, he who defecates solely does not know the trouble the dysentric is going through uh ijole barakufa munne tabidefufa they say uh 
If I translate it correctly, I don't know, but it says, children of the years of satiety, their anus blows fire, that means. <laughs> Sorry? Children of the years of satiety, their anus blows fire, it says. <laughs> and then it is the donkeys, they say, Tabinu it in injiru. Uh, never there will, never there was a hill on which we didn't fight, said the donkey. Nikabu kabate fincha. It means uh, he who has urinates holding. And then another form of uh, this uh, potty language thing is. Uh, Wedding songs. I will just try to re rush, but when to bonya to kamadif taafi shankule sani shambule sani abeya gurba wanta tinya to dagujaf dapo imbule sani hinkule sani kanu dapo da kunu ka koda yal makili si kana dili si chaka ipisi sing the girls, which actually means. What my brother eats is taffy and wheat, five times refined, time, time, five times grind. And what you, our poor groom, eats, uh, what or what he dines on, millet and sorghum, not grind usually, unrefined totally, of all grains with sorghum, bloat your belly and get heavy bottom, son of a half cast, ram in all and get tense, and make the forest tense or dense. Yo sarenga mana dutte, yo sarenga masi dutte, so di chosila debesa, gadikate, chufa jebesa, olkate, adat todesa. Albatin chicha balesa, finchanin dara basesa, hach abut ira shankesa, areasi balesa, kungurat ira balesa. So these are all psychological uh, or uh, restroom some kind of roast humor the girls sing during wedding times. And uh, we have got a lot of these things, but I don't know. Uh, the other thing is, just, just one minute, please. May I borrow from next year? <laughs> <laughs> one of the important uh, form of humor is uh, what we call this cosmic or theological humor. Uh, which actually I found that Oromos are really seriously religious people, as you all know. But for me, no, they are not. They are loyally sarcastic, if we really observe correctly. I can give you a lot of examples on this. Uh, when, for instance, uh, thunder happens, or this uh, lightning happens, and then they say, it, when some kind of damage occurs, they say, Isabaga, Isabaga, which literally means uh, well done, well done. <laughs> and then if somebody asks what happened and what caused the damage, they don't say it was struck by lightning. They say, Wakatutigamadi, <laughs> which means God rejoiced on it. <laughs> that is how deep they are. And then on, on what occasion, as a tale has it, a man was struck by a thunderbolt and died. On a stormy day, a few weeks after his funeral, a relative from a distant locality comes and then pays his respect and then sheds few tears and then asks, what caused the death? It was a rainy day. Then the man, the relative who lost the guy, he said, uh, uh, we don't talk about his days on a rainy day, do we? Yes. <laughs> Because he's still suspecting that somebody is a vast dropping and then he might hit. <laughs> On another occasion, a thunder hit something and then no days occurred and uh, the neighbors came and then tried to uh, say, congratulations, nothing happened to you. And then the person says, please, would you just save the congratulations for a minute because he's still groaning and roaring at me? <laughs> so there are a lot of such things. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, the other humor type is humor in song lyrics. 
Uh, okay, what I borrowed is also gone. Thank you so much. Uh, earlier, when I introduced uh, Abu Dalalam, I forgot to mention something exceptionally uh, important. He is incredibly humorous. You know, if you sit with him for 15 minutes and if you don't laugh, you have some problems. <laughs>